it's time for a Reschools update, the latest on construction projects paid for with your bond dollars. I'm Nick Vole. We are seeing real progress on several new school buildings and new classrooms going in at existing buildings. And we're getting a look at the new downtown elementary school. Joining us now to talk about all of this is Tara Cox. Tara? Thanks. The district is moving ahead on the latest location for the downtown elementary school. We're now seeing a concept design of the school at its new site. Take a look. The new school will be on the east side of I-5 on Mill Plain Boulevard and Fort Vancouver Way. It's right next to the library's regional operations center. The school will be brand new with a projected opening date of fall 2021 to accommodate the growing number of families in, downtown, in the downtown area. Construction is also set to begin on the new wing at Columbia River High School. River's new 500 wing will have direct access to the main building, improved science, band, and choir rooms, and a secure entrance, and more. There will also be updates to the school's stadium, track, and parking lot as part of the project. At Franklin, Franklin and Sacagawea Elementaries, construction has been set for July. At Franklin, crews will be adding five classrooms to replace portables currently in use. There will also be restrooms and improved parking and drop-off spaces. At Sacagawea, they'll be getting a new gym and covered play area, a new kitchen, a family community resource center, and more. Both projects should be done by the fall of 2020. We're getting lots of great photos from construction sites across the district. Let's start with this cool video produced by a student at Salmon Creek. As you can see, they're pouring concrete on new classrooms. Over at Harney, it's the same. New classrooms mean fewer portables for students, improved school student experiences, and better school safety. At Marshall Elementary, walls are now up, as you can see in this aerial photo provided by Skanska. Marshall and the new McLaughlin Middle School will be right next to each other, with some shared spaces like the kitchen and Family Community Resource Center. Ogden Elementary is really starting to take shape. You can see the bones of what is going to be a great new school building. There's even some brick going up on the exterior, and it's getting easier to visualize what the school will look like. For schools like Ogden, whose old building will be torn down, you will have a chance to say goodbye. On June 6th, from 5 to 7 p.m., the public is welcome for a closing event. King Elementary's closing event is set for May 18th at an open house from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. King's students and staff will be moving to Ogden's old building next year as their current building is demolished and rebuilt. You'll be able to check out photos and memorabilia on display at both schools. Every school in the district will see some benefit from the bond over the next few years. So if you haven't seen your school mentioned yet, stay tuned. Back to you. Thanks, Tara. And if you want to learn more about bond-related projects in the works for the district, check out the website, vansd.org slash reschools. You can see what's happening in your neighborhood, plus get updates for current projects and timelines for future projects. The website is updated every time there's a new development, and of course we have more video updates on Facebook and YouTube, and you can follow us on social media on the four different platforms you see there. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Vole.